Lost People. This is David with Lost Farms Homestead. Um, we're at the homestead in town right now. Um, it is middle of October and still over 100 degrees out here during the day. Um, we got a, another heat spell coming. It's supposed to go through the weekend. Um, supposed to be up over 100 still. It's pretty hot for this time of year. Um, can't really complain too much. There are other parts of uh, the states that are getting much worse weather. Um, let's put a prayer out for the, the Helene and Milton victims and families and all of those people. It's a horrible thing. Um, yeah, so, uh, so today what we're doing, um, we are going to pick up a uh, pop-up trailer. So the last time that we were up at the ranch it was very cold and uh, it's only going to be getting colder now it's it's warm here still in the city but up up where we're at up in the mountains up there it gets pretty cold at night um it was probably about freezing the last time we were up there it was pretty cold it was not okay so um we found a pop-up trailer it's a 1975 apache hard side pop-up and it's going to need some work we already know it's going to need some work um but i'm prepared to take care of that so we're getting ready to go right now to go pick it up and uh, we're going to bring it back here and open it up and see what we got. So we getting a trailer. We <laughs> getting a trailer. So stick around and we'll see what we got. Thanks. We do today all right so we have got the tractor in tow no we don't <laughs> tractor we, we have a trailer, trailer in tow, in tow <laughs> behind us yeah and you can tell i'm a little burned out tired i'm all dirty i've changed tires four times now it was an ordeal so so yeah this was this took all day we left out this morning thinking we were going to be able to get this thing done and it's almost sundown it'll be dark by the time we get home of course, we did have to drive all the way to the other side of Phoenix. But it's right there. Yep, see it behind us? It's awesome. Can't wait to get home. I'm so excited. Um, it'll probably be tomorrow before we pop it open and see what's going on in there, but... Maybe, because I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah, we might try to mess with it a little bit tonight, but it's going to be dark, so... We'll see how, how, what, how it is when we get there. But, uh, yeah, quite the, quite the ordeal getting this thing set up and, and on the road but and three sets of tires it. later yeah yeah well because i took i took the tires that were on it were destroyed i thought maybe we could drive on them and get to the uh house well i thought we could get to the tire place because we ordered tires for it not happening those tires were trashed i mean they weren't even on the rim so i took the tires off of the uh, took the rims off of i had to jack it up and put stands under it and take the tires off and then we took those down and tried to get them replaced and the tires that we ordered didn't fit on the rims that we had so we went uh, the guy said that sometimes they sell trailer tires at lowe's and you know so we looked at lowe's and we ended up finding a set at uh harbor freight that looked like they would fit so we went and got those and we had to go to two different harbor freights because the first one we went to only had one and then we got all the way back finally with that <clears throat> and they didn't fit and they didn't fit so 
but then they had some other tires. Yeah, she found different rims. Uh, rims and tires that looked close. They were different from the ones that came off of it, but they were actually nicer, wider, which I like because it's a better, you know, sturdierest. Stur right, more sturdy. And um, so I tried to get those because they were, um, they looked like they were okay. They were kind of old, but if we got air in them, they might make it. But they weren't uh, the beads. They weren't beaded. They were kind of just floppy on the rim. So I took them down to uh, uh, discount to try and see if they could get them on the rim. And as it turns out, the custom ones that we ordered actually fit on those rims. So we just got them put on those. And then I ended up, we ended up going back and finally getting them put on. And <laughs> now we're heading home. So, but it's been, I mean, we probably put at least 150 miles on the truck today just driving back and forth but we also managed to come up with that guy yep. we got a plucker we got yep. a fenced yard thing for extra animals yep yep we got a, a yep. totally scored out of goodwill while we were out here since it's <laughs> way out here and the houses are huge and if the houses are huge hit that goodwill right yeah this is definitely uh there's a lot of money in these neighborhoods out here so that's fine that means they buy expensive stuff and get rid of it <laughs> right yeah we found a really nice roll top desk it's actually like a folding top but yeah. it's kind of like a roll top yeah. it's really nice so i think we're going to replace the roll top we have with that and uh you know what? Yeah. we should put the roll top in true's room and put all of our school in it that way she can close it up when she's done yeah yeah the black one no the roll top you want to move that big? Why don't we just leave the big one where it is and give that? I mean, because I like that one. <laughs> just for the time being. Eventually, we'll figure it out. Okay. Anyways. But, in other words, I'm so excited. Yeah, and we picked up a chicken plucker from a guy who had it on the marketplace. Great, and we'll be here sounding like Gollum in the background. <laughs> yeah. And so, we got dinner. Yep, and we got dinner. So we're headed home now. Uh, I might have a, failed as a wife and never introduced him to El Pollo Loco. <laughs> That's some good chicken. <laughs> so, anyways, yeah, it's about an hour and a half home. It's probably going to be dark by the time we get there. But, uh, yeah, so we're on the way. So, um, stick around. We'll start it up in the morning and see what we got. Thanks. out here it is Sunday morning and this is what we got so it is the 1975 Apache Mesa pop-up trailer and I put a strap on it here just to keep it down just in case because I wasn't sure if it was hundred percent latched if it might pop up while we were driving strap on. <laughs> hey 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 come on now and I'm seeing we got a little bit of damage here and over here that I might have to deal with. I mean, it'll still drive and function like that, but might be a need some patch stuff for it. Yeah, might be a waterproof issue. I might be able to find the parts just around. But yeah, so that's what we got right now. So we're going to drop it down and unhook from it and then uh take the strap off and see if we can get this thing awesome. opened up and then uh see what we got so you should grab a level yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna get the levels that might get permanent on here so it's yeah. all we always know right right yeah we'll, we'll get all the accessories and get it fixed up i just want to see what we're looking at so all right we're gonna get this thing popped up and see what we got stick around thanks <laughs>
this is where I'm at right now. I've got it raised up on these two sides and the inside folded up and I've got this part popped out right here. Um, I'm still looking for the sides. I believe they're down there. It looks like they might be down under there. I'm hoping because if not, we're going to have to figure something out, but I can make that work. That's not too much of a problem. Um, so I got this side up all the way. Oh, I'm tripping over stuff. And I got it braced here with the piece of uh, two by six that I cut to fit in there to hold it up because the two back ones aren't working. They're not cranking up when we use the crank. It's not lifting the back. And also, it's not lifting this side all the way up. If I come out here, you can see how that side is higher than that side, so it didn't lift up all the way. So, um, what I was trying to do, I was trying to lift it up with the jack right here and just crank it until it lifted up, but it's lifting the whole thing up, so what I need to do is figure out how I can wedge it inside here and then just like spread it open without damaging anything in here. That's really the key thing is to do it without damaging this. So I'm considering a few different things. Um, I might, I think I have a bottle jack that I might try to use here and kind of put it right here in this corner. Maybe, maybe I'll put something under it like a board or something, a chunk of two by six, maybe stick it here and then hit it with a bottle jack and try to lift it that way. That way it's separating the two pieces rather than pushing off of the ground because the ground, when I come off the ground, it's lifting the whole thing. So, uh, that's where I'm at. Um, uh, first glance looking in here. So that is some very old linoleum and, uh, countertop right there. I can see the hose for the sink is broken. Um, this whole thing is supposed to lift up and then go up like that. It folds down so it can fit inside here. Um, this stuff looks pretty damaged right here, but it seems like, you know, it's cosmetic stuff hopefully that we can fix. Um, I'm not sure what's going on with these. We might have to get into that a little bit. I still got to open that side in order to see what all of that is over there. Um, also, we got some holes in the windows over here. I don't know if you can see that, but it looks like someone was shooting a BB gun at it. And uh, I think one of the back windows is broken, so we're going to have to replace the back window also. But, uh, no, it's not too bad. I got some wires hanging out. That needs to be fixed. I think that's the fan. Uh, yeah, not too, not too bad. This is a little looks like this stuff needs some work. I probably need to do a bunch of uh, finish work on this thing and clean it up. These I'm definitely going to have to redo because you can see here the, the um, stop is missing. There's a plastic stop that goes in here and it's missing from this one. That's probably why it's binding up here. I'll show you. Oh, geez, I'm trying to, trying to kill myself on that jack. That's the second time I've tripped over that. You watch what I'm doing. Okay. Moving stuff this time. So here, you can see here the plastic piece right there that fits in there. That is actually a guide that goes in there and keeps this thing straight so that it raises up the way it's supposed to. And you can see it's got some old, it all needs to be re-lubed again. It's, it's old right here. So I need to pull these out and clean them up and get new bushings and redo the lube on it. I'm going to have to pull them off from here. I have to pull these rivets out and pop those out and take the whole thing out and disassemble the whole thing. I need to get new here, these pieces new also. You can get a package that has these and these and I think there's some other parts that go in it too. So I'm going to order that as soon as possible and then we'll just replace the four of those and then the chains also. So it looks like that front chain is good over here. This one's might be good, but it's binding up. So I'm going to have to double check it. It was popping and making some weird noise because we got to the top of it and it just like it was trying to, but it was hung up. So um, I might get the two back ones and then try to raise it up. And if it raises up after I get this unstuck, then I'll be good, but then I might have to reorder that third one. I might just order three and then uh, try it with the two, and then if it doesn't work, replace the third one. And if it does work, then we can just send it back or keep a hold of it because we might need it later. 
so or something they're only like 150 bucks so it's not too bad but anyways all right so that's where we're at right now i'm going to try to figure out how to get this raised up the rest of the way so we can put this side up and then once i get this side up and everything's situated then we'll go tour the inside so stick around thanks <laughs> able to get this up and open this thing up so you can see here it's open both sides all the way open we got it set up in here kind of um, we did not find the sides in here uh, I got this stuff still sitting here I'm gonna move that out but this is one of the beds right here there's two sides that go on here um, I might have to make them, but um, we're hoping that the lady has them that we bought it from. We're hoping that she has them and just uh, had them in the other trailer or on the side of the house or something. We'll figure it out. But anyway, so this is where that sink flipped up and it flips up to this. And here we have a uh, burners right here for cooking. What if we pick one and use it for part? Hold on a minute. Sorry, I got got people talking to me, so sorry about that. All right, so and then here we have the sink, which, you know, oh, geez. All right, I might have to fix that. Not sure, but I'll figure that out too. So I got to do some work on that. Um, there's supposed to be a seat here, two seats and a table. They are missing currently and it's supposed to fold down into a bed and then it turns into a bed across there so that's all missing um, and then this is the other side the two sides also are missing and there are no cushions so um, let's see this I believe is just storage yeah I don't think there's anything in here this is the connection for the uh, propane that goes on the front and uh, I'll be using that whenever we do that 
And then this one I think is the water storage. Yeah, there's the water tank right here. Looks like it needs maybe some work. Apparently there's water in it still. But that's okay. I can get that worked out. It's got the water pump right there. So as long as all that works, I can get this situated and get the sink working properly. And it'll be nice to have water that's on a faucet so that we don't have to, you know, do it the old school way. So that's cool. Uh, but so there's that. Um, so I need to replace the chains in at least three corners. I'll probably just get four and replace them all since I'm doing it. Uh, I need to get new cushions, sides, and then I need to go through it and make sure all of the electrical and everything is working the way that it's supposed to. Make sure that the gas is safe. So, and then uh, I thought there was a heating unit. I am not seeing a heating unit in here. I also thought that there was a refrigerator and I'm not seeing that in here either. Um, what I am seeing is right here we have a converter unit that goes to from the battery. So when you hook a battery up to it, um, you got you can have it on the battery only, or you can turn it off, or you can put it on the converter, and then that way you have plugs here, and then this guy here. So I'm gonna put this in the off position and leave it. But that is this converter back here. And it seems to be okay so I got to do some work back there and figure out what all of that is I know one of those is the plug that goes to this cable and that cable right here this is the one that you plug into the wall outside of a house or some other power source and it will power everything in here so okay so initially that's what we got so sorry it's really hot out here so, um, yeah, looks like we got our work cut out for us, quite a bit of work to do, so, um, yeah, plus a lot of cleaning, so, anyways, alright, we're gonna, uh, look around and see if we can find some parts for this thing, and start getting things together to get it fixed, and as we get the parts, we'll get it fixed, and then, uh, hopefully, we'll be able to use it pretty soon, so, uh, that's where we're at right now um, It's probably gonna be a short video. I think I'm gonna call it right there and uh, we'll uh, We'll see where we end up. So thanks for watching our video like and subscribe. See you next week